Hello, welcome to the last part video on the KC to the Jumper 260. So, I already believed, uh, you saw on this video, I already uh, do the unboxing as well. And, uh, well, some outdoor tests. So, here is uh, not the final thoughts of this model, but uh, just some extra information. So, here is the final result of the assembling. So, uh, well, as you already know, I uh, installed a D it yourself. Um, uh, Fear Sky receiver working in PMW mode. I guess you can save a uh, little bit some weight by uh, using the uh, CPPM mode. Okay, so out of the box, um, when everything is installed, uh, this machine uh, scale. Well, I will use this box as there. Okay, should be around 350 grams without the batteries. Um, okay. 351 grams. Uh, on the box, they uh, uh, advise uh, 3S 2200 milliamps per hour. Uh, LiPo, I think it's a little bit too heavy. Um, I use this uh, model of uh, ZP1, but uh, can it be if it's okay? I advise more 1300 or 1500. Already with this kind of battery, I got 7 to 8 minutes of flying duration, so it's pretty nice. So, uh, well, uh, what I can say, the, uh, when everything is uh, assembled, when your, everything is working fine, so be aware to install the uh, uh, motors with the black prop slots on the front left, silver on front right and so on. So that when everything is installed, it's a very pretty nice machine. So as you already saw, I uh, tune everything to control, for example, three position of the gimbal with this switch. I uh, install, well, configure to have the dual rate on this button. And if you are not a really a good specialist of FPV, it's good to have uh, beginner uh, rates uh, for this machine. Out of the box, this machine is very powerful and very stable. I'm impressed, amazed how stable and powerful this machine is. It's even more powerful, for example, than the eSky HMX280, so really I like it. But it's not a perfect machine. So, first of all, uh, the instruction manual only in Chinese is not really good points. Second point, if you follow the instruction, they say to install the uh, silver prop slot. Well, I mean, this more harms here and front left and so on. If you are doing like this, you will have some problems in the best flight configuration, you will find that your uh, quad will spin on itself, so it's not really good points. Uh, second um, problem, or well, it's not problem, it's complaint, I will say, is uh, the uh, arm mounting, uh, the motor mounts here. Well, as you may see, there is only a fiber glass part here. Well, this one is, if I can measure, is something like two millimeters only. Okay, so it's not so. I think if you have some severe crash on this part, all the amount will break. And uh, as far as I know, they don't sell uh, this part uh, elements, uh, uh, so it could be a problem. Okay, so they sell a complete full arms, or uh, I would like they sell this uh, uh, small carbon plate here welcoming the motors and the LEDs. It would be great. Um, another point also, uh, I found um, the gimbal is sometimes is trembling a bit, so I would like to know how to adjust the PID's values of this gimbal, uh, probably in base flight, but I didn't find them, so it would be great, I can make a small demo if you want. So, uh, if you turn, you will see that sometime well, I will just plug my uh, TD into XT60 adapter. Okay, um, you will see that I will more to focus on the camera on this side. Okay, you will see that after binding the gimbal with uh, self leveling. Okay, so if you can notice, there is a small, small trembling sometime, so it will introduce some jello in fact in the video, so definitely maybe you can add a small weight on the, on the camera 
to stabilize it. So uh, maybe I will do it. Maybe I had five grams below or something to uh, stop the uh, helps the stabilization of the gimbal. Yeah, definitively. So you can feel the motors. That's uh, probably the main uh, drawback of this machine and the uh, the, the thinness of the uh, of the uh, uh, mount mount plate. Okay. Uh, Except these two drawbacks, uh, uh, I really like how this machine is flying. It's great, really great, and uh, everything is compact. Uh, is uh, uh, nice. You can feel a lot of power. You can probably install a Mobius cam on the front without any problem. You just need to use a small battery traps, okay, and without problem you can install it. You will have a great, great uh, videos uh, platform as well. Uh, what I like is the, uh, of course, this nice features of the gimbal. It's help a lot when you're flying in high rates. Really, uh, when the uh, um, gimbal uh, self-leveling, you it's in bringing something really uh, new and uh, nice in your how you fly FPV. So. Uh, it's quite light, it's 50 grams all the combo. Well, the FPV camera standalone is good, not the best one, okay? I found the light illumination sensibility could be a little bit better, okay? You will see in my outdoors video when I go close to the tree part and uh, when you can see the, uh, uh, the uh, lighted uh, places, the transition is not fantastic, but it's not a bad camera at all, really. Um, well, what I can say, uh, the video transmitter is okay, uh, maybe uh, another choice of video transmitter. I'm not a great fan of Bascan, some, you can have some little bit some little bit some noise on the image, but not coming from the uh, motors, it's coming from the electronics, the uh, electronic uh, of the Bascan, I find it a little bit noisy uh, intrinsically. Uh, well, except these uh, points, uh, uh, really, I like it. Uh, I advise it not for beginners, but for an um, intermediate, okay? And things to uh, maybe to find how to uh, stock this part as spare should be very important. Mine don't have any gap in the tube, okay? So I'm pretty lucky. Uh, it's base flight compatible, so I have to check how to install a clean flight on it. Uh, but actually, I have to be sure that the firmware is 100% compatible with this uh, uh, clean flight and best flight. Um, I read on the uh, uh, Infinity OB uh, website that this uh, internal dip switch are used for uh, some new features will be introduced with an infrared uh, sensors and didn't understand well what it will be used for. But um, okay. So to resume, nice machine, great and sporty flyer, not for beginners, but for intermediate it's okay. You can have very nice sitting with base flight. It's easy to assemble, in fact, except the LEDs. Well, it's <laughs> tricky. If uh, you can, of course, not install the LEDs and you can assemble your, this machine in less than 10 minutes. But with these uh, LEDs, you can spend twice more time because you need two twice to install it. Uh, well, it's a good, well, it's a nice machine. Okay, I hope you like this series of video dedicated to the Jumper 2016. Uh, I like it. I advise it for non and intermediate flyers. Well, if you have any questions, please type below. If you like this video, please submit. If you like my channel, uh, channel in general, please subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye.